an overview of Enritzu's IQ Sigma Master software suite, a complete set of applications running on a standard Windows PC to help you capture, import, and organize your IQ data files, play back IQ files with fine time resolution and spectrogram displays, and analyze IQ data sets to measure common modulation standards and view 5G frame data. IQ Sigma Master is a complete solution helping you maximize your investment in Android 2 Spectrum Analyzers. IQ Sigma Master supports all of Android 2's latest products, including the Field Master and Field Master Pro, and Android 2's remote spectrum monitors. Whether you are dealing with a few milliseconds or a few hours of IQ data, IQ Sigma Master lets you visualize, explore, and analyze the signals you are interested in. IQ Sigma Master, the key that unlocks your data and the full utility of your Android 2 Spectrum Analyzer. 5G Frame Analysis with IQ Signal Master The Enritsu Fieldmaster and Fieldmaster Pro provide great support for 5G RF measurements. The 5G Frame Analysis in IQ Signal Master provides additional views and analysis in support of the 5G analysis mode. The zoomable spectrogram provides additional resolution when visualizing 5G traffic and control blocks. Welcome to the next installation of our videos introducing the IQ Signal Master software from Enritsu. Today we're going to look at our 5G frame analysis mode. Um, it comes up here, there's nothing to display, I haven't opened a file yet. I also want to open up our uh, the software interface to our uh, MS2090A uh, Fieldmaster Pro. I have this set up and uh, now I kind of want to look at a, a few things here. So first of all, we're looking at 5G signals. So I have I've set this up to, to look at a T-Mobile 5G signal that's here in my local area. This is at 2.546 gigahertz. It's 100 megahertz wide. And you, and you can see I've got a sort of a, a max hold and a rolling max and then the, the tracer. So that's, that's the signal I want to look at. I can go into my 5G mode and um, look at it here. Um, it's not going to sync. I haven't set the SSB offset yet. Things, the rest of this is set up. It's 30 kilohertz uh, subcarrier spacing, and and uh, I can go in here and and do a, an auto detect SSB. But I I want to show how to do this with the IQ Signal Master, just as a way to introduce some of the features. So with that here, we'll come back over here now. Actually. There's a couple ways you might be doing 5G measurements. One is to, to go out in the field and and capture some signals. So this will do some demodulation and it produces a lot of, of information about the, the signal. Sometimes you want to do some post-processing and, and have a different kind of look. And so IQ Signal Master lets you do that. Uh, one way you can do this is, is this, if you go to the file menu, 5G capture, uh, when I press that button, it does uh, a raw IQ data capture, 60 milliseconds long, and saves it to the internal memory of, of, the, of the instrument, right? And I can do that as many times as I want and, and save a series of those. Um, and that allows me to, when I get back to the office, I can connect my instrument up to my PC. And, and if I connect, so this is the IP address of that uh, Fieldmaster Pro. I can connect to it. It tells me that it's a 2090A. And there are some, these are some IQ captures done sort of in a normal IQ mode. But when I'm, when I'm connected, this 5G button becomes available to me. And if I click that, then this shows just the files that were saved with this 5G capture mode, right? So there's other ways to do IQ captures on an instrument. But these 5G files are in a special folder, and this shows me the contents of that. Um, and if I double click one of these, and it'll download it. And if this little button here, if I click that so it's active, this is an automatic load. So now when I, I download this file to my PC, it will automatically load it um, and make it available for viewing and, and analysis in the other, other modes in IQ Signal Master. I also can choose to download all. So if I hit this button, it'll, it'll prompt me for a folder on my PC and, and I can get all of these. So maybe I've been out and I've, and I've got 20 files that I've just taken a snapshot of during my measurements in the field and I want to look at all of them and I can download them all as a group. Um, so actually I need to, so we're going to double click that. It shows it's downloading. And once it's uh, downloaded, then it needs to do a file conversion. The format is a little different in these 5G files than what we normally use. And, and now it's loaded. 
and it does a it's going to generate a couple of images to show us in in this um, 5g frame analysis mode so we'll let that finish there are a couple of, of settings that we have here once we get this file in that we'll go through first of all it's going to show a spectrogram um, so we can see uh, and, the, and our, so we did a 60 millisecond capture that's what that that button does so we can look at this whole thing uh, I can zoom in let's say I can look at 10 milliseconds and I can kind of scroll through that if I if I want to and, and see different pieces of it um, this is a nice view here right because I can see my SSB block very very clearly it's got that distinctive shape to it sometimes that's harder to see so we provide if I click and, and I get a little cursor um, sort of like a crosshair when this this rectangle is just the size I expect for my SSB block so if I'm not sure um, that'll that'll help and, and that depends so if I set the if I change the subcare spacing then of course that changes the size and so on you know if I'm if I'm zoomed out and I'm looking at 50 milliseconds then that SSB block is harder to see uh, I think this is where we were at and so I can come down here and and that just fits inside that window and I expect so these crosshairs are every 10 milliseconds and I can see there's an SSB block here here and here so at 20 millisecond intervals which is as expected so I have a lot of confidence that's my SSB block can't so I and I show the the SSB offset of, based on that it can be a little tricky to get this set just right um, and so we show a couple of values here and I can roll the mouse wheel up and down to kind of finely adjust that and, and then if I click on one of these it'll send it so we'll just do this and it'll send it to the instrument and ask me for an IP address it remembers what I used before now if I bring up my instrument that's SSB offset was set and becomes active and now I've I've synced to that signal and I can start doing some modulation analysis and, and look at the different uh, modes that are here and and so that's a, a simple way to uh, to kind of look at this view and pull out some some useful information uh, there's other things I can do here I um, my settings are really pretty simple I can do spectrogram or I can look at a, sort of a, a density plot of, of what would have been sweep traces um, in there I can adjust the I can set the uh, subcare spacing um, I can set of course we've looked at this through the zoom level in this data and I can set the the resolution so this is time resolution and and I have high time which I wanted to be able to have sharp edges to to make out the shape um, I can go to low time resolution in um, when we capture IQ data so time the time and frequency resolution are inversely related so if I put this on low time resolution then I get high frequency resolution so I'm going to re regenerate this graph with my resolution different just so that we can see the difference that that makes so kind of remember this shape what that looks like um, and now it's, it's, everything's going to be a little bit more fuzzy in the horizontal direction but when I set this here now my edges here are going to be really well defined so I have much better so I'm right the vertical axis here is frequency and the horizontal is time so things get kind of fuzzy in, in the time direction but I have nice sharp edges in frequency and, and I can go back the other direction and we'll just use the extreme but you can see how, how this kind of gets blurred or, or how nice this is actually in, in many cases and then when we, we finish it um, I think that there'll be more of the, some of this the time will be better the frequency should be worse because we've moved our time resolution up and so we have these these edges will be more jagged um, and, and you kind of see some some noise um, but things look better in the time so so this really depends on the data and the, the bandwidth of the data where you might want to set this for optimal viewing we also can adjust the color so I can I can kind of change the the reference level um, into something that's that looks a little bit easier on the eyes depending on where the power is and and there's there's an auto scale um, it lets me see it so I can I can play with those things um, and of course my zoom 
and and here you can see there's just a lot of information in this i can i can see where the power is is weak and and how much strong signal i have and, and there's places here where i can see that the signal is fading and and different aspects you can pull out of that now we, we kind of went through a scenario where um we had saved a bunch of inf uh, files on um on our instrument you also can if you're if you're connected and you have a live connection um we have a couple menus here this allows me to import a file so if i've like did that download all and i have a bunch of 5g files on my pc now i can i can use this to, to locate when i load it but this 5g capture from instrument if i click that it asks for the ip address remembering the previous one it's going to go out here and automatically click this button for me initiate the data transfer uh, convert it to the the format that we expect here and then uh, load it up it'll become an active file and and generate these graphs for me so it's kind of a way to so if i have the instrument connected um, just sort of a one button press that that, it, that initiates the capture the data transfer images and uh, and then we're we're good to go so it takes a minute to, to go through all those processes, so uh, we should be getting close. And now it's just going to generate our, so it's loaded the file, and now it just needs to uh, generate the, the spectrogram. And it should look very much like the one that we were looking at just a minute ago. Uh, it'll be different, different users are, are on and, and doing data, so you know each one will look a little bit different, but, but it should be pretty similar to... The SSB should be in the same place, which is right here, and uh, and have some requirements. So that's that is our 5G uh, frame analysis. There's a lot of information gleaned from this screen. Uh, good ways to zoom in and out, and adjust the resolution and, and the color depth. Uh, I believe that'll be very useful. Thank you.